Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Black people are so obsessed with hair. So much so that Beyonce can so-called break the internet just by revealing her natural hair. I mean, really? Let's talk about it. Beyonce posted a video on her Instagram page showing her washing and conditioning her natural hair using her products from her hair care line called Sacred. She is such a fraud and she is known as a huge thief that people needed proof that she even have hair underneath those wigs. And even the video didn't even prove much. And I will point out a few things to you. So check this out. I must say, I do believe that her hair is long, but it's not because of those products. Beyonce, we've seen her childhood pictures. She had hair. So I know sometimes you can have hair when you're young and then your hair can break and can fall. But I'll just say I believe she has hair because all she does, she does wear wigs only. So of course, when you protecting your hair underneath the wigs, you're braiding it and you're not touching it. You're not abusing it. Of course, it's going to grow. So I believe she has hair. She's not bald headed. I believe that. Okay. But here's the thing. Don't be fooled. That is not all of Beyonce's hair. Beyonce is a known liar. The truth is not in her. People like her, if they ever tell the truth, they will always mix it up with lies. Okay. That's what they get off on. Okay, deceiving people is the name of their game. Okay, Beyonce is a liar, so don't expect her to just reveal things just to reveal things. Okay, <laughs> so um, in the video, you see, well, first of all, with the whole technology, the stuff that they have going on, the stuff that they have access to, uh, the whole AI stuff, they can make things look real. They can definitely make things look real. They have access to people like top-notch experts of everything. Photoshop, AI, things. Listen, don't put anything past them, okay? Stop letting this mother of darkness play in your face, okay? It's BS. Oh, this is what I use to grow my hair. This is what I use to keep my hair. BS. BS, B mother effing S. As a business owner, I know about the ins and outs. I know about the secrets. I know what to say, okay? When you put out a product, when you want to put out a product, you say things like, oh, I've been working on this product for over five years. I didn't want to put it out until it was just right. This is my creation. I love it so much. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Yeah, sweat, blood, and tears. Blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> I've been working on it for over 25 years, and I just got it just perfect. Finally, you guys have access to it. It's all BS, man. I do not believe anything out of Beyonce's mouth. I don't believe a word this woman says or even what she shows on camera. So I would have to be there in person and do a full inspection, okay? <laughs> because this lady is a non-fraud. She's a fraud, okay? So here is the video. Okay, did you see her holding her edges in the beginning? She had her hand right over her forehead, like her hairline, like she's holding something, you know, so it doesn't move. We know that technique, don't we? We know that technique. That's the hold on to your lace front so it doesn't come off. <laughs> Listen, look, she has like 10 different textures. Like, look at this thing, different texture. When did Beyonce have wavy hair? Miss, I want to be Latina. Miss Latina is not a race. <laughs> Stupid. But listen, okay, so her hairline looks fake. I don't believe it's all her hair. She has pieces in there. She has something going on. I believe it's a real sophisticated, top-notch, handmade wig. Okay, <laughs> that's what I believe. Now, again, I believe she has hair. Just because you wear wigs doesn't mean that you are bald. Look at Kim Kardashian. She wear wigs. 
and her hair is damaged. Her real hair is thin. She has bald spots. So she's always wearing wigs or pieces to give it a full look. So yeah, so you can wear wigs and still have beautiful hair. Look at Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj has nice, beautiful hair. Megan Thee Stallion, her hair is nice, long, luscious. <laughs> Cardi B, beautiful, nice, long hair. So it doesn't mean anything if you wear wigs. I'm not buying the texture. The texture looks like the curly wigs that she wears. And then when it's wet, it becomes wavy. That's what it's giving. And how do you, how are your hair so silky, wet, wavy, wet, silky, wavy? And then when it's dry, it's a different texture. It's like kinky. And then, of course, when you blow dry it, it still have the kinkiness. And But when you press it, flat iron it, that I understand. When you flat iron your hair, it's going to be silky a little because of the flat iron. But your hair dry and your hair wet are like two different. No, it doesn't make sense. If you have silky, wavy hair, it's gonna be silky when it's dry. It's gonna be, have that same kind of look, texture to it. It won't be like a A, but then when it's dry, it's like a C. No. <laughs> but anyways, let's move on from that, okay? Um. So yeah, her mother, Mother Witch, Tina, she is second alive set. too. Third she posted this okay. freaking Looking video good. of Beyonce. Hmm. What's that? Saying this Let's is get Beyonce's this asymmetrical dress. Style savvy, you and run you your own boutique, helping customers with over 10,000 styles to choose from. Yeah, but you gotta get the rhinestone cowboy. To people. I think rhinestone they cowboy climb boots. up boots. in the spiritual realm when they fool people, when they lie. Maybe we should work on you next. Like, blatantly, and you know what I'm saying? Your hair looks so good. 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 Your energy that they take um, from that no, 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 no. because it I'm makes no sense how do you lie about this I'm not sure about this the right here being right here but it's clearly not DSI, rated E for everyone I swear Perfect. I to be trolling there's no way I mean look at the top hey. of the wig you see that little slit, that little slit that's how wigs are you know, like it's like a little slit at the top, like a little that line, like a little, that's supposed to be the scalp. That's how wigs are. But, <laughs> but this is her hair. This is her hair, right? Right, right, right? <laughs> so you're telling me she got her hair done like this, right? Her real hair, only to have slime on her hair. Now we know these, you know, these superstars, they have claws. They have things that they say that they will do, they won't do. So you're telling me she had her hair like that only to have slime on her hair that can take days to remove that can nah man I'm not buying that so if you could lie about this being her hair you're telling me you're not gonna lie about something else about this this important thing that people were waiting on people were asking for come on you're selling a hairline, but no one's seeing your hair. And you're telling me you're not going to manipulate things to look a certain way? <laughs> and then the truth is not in you on top of that? And you like to mix lies with a little, little tiny truth? Yeah. Mm -mm. That is not Beyonce's hair in that video, okay? And if I were you, I wouldn't buy anything from Miss Witchy Poo. There's no way I'm buying anything from this voodoo priestess, especially some hair products. Are you serious? Are you crazy? The rituals, spells, and curses surrounding her hair care products will have most of you going bald, okay? I wouldn't trust anything coming from this person because, listen, listen, my darlings, in the music industry, it's a known fact that when you record something, they take the master because those top record labels, you know, they have a studio, right? They also have a back room where they take the master and then they take it to the room and they chant over the master before they make copies and send it out, you know, to sell to the public, right? They chant over the records. That's how you guys get hooked. That's how you guys, you know, it's a spell they put on you guys. And they are putting spells 
through records, music. Don't you know that? There are people that have come out. They have committed crimes listening to certain songs. There's a person that came out. They were listening to uh, Eminem, 3 a.m. He has a song called 3 a.m. And when he listened to it, I guess he woke up and then he just started like he, yeah, he went crazy and he, he did some, you know, the M word. So, yeah, so these songs have a lot of spirits on them, right? This is a spiritual realm. You guys don't, a lot of you guys don't understand how real and powerful these things are. These people are not playing. It's not a game to them, okay? So if they can do that to songs, when they chant over every master before they make copies and sell it to the public, sell it to us, you don't think they can do that with their products? You don't think Beyonce would do that? over her products before they ship it out, before they put it out there? Come on, okay? So I wouldn't buy anything from a Beyonce. This is a person who who disrespect God, who said things about God, and just, mm, yeah, she's a well-known Satanist, okay? She is, you, you even have... A woman who used to work with her, a musician. She was a drummer. And then she had to run. She's trying to sue Beyonce, but of course they, they shut it down, they shut the case down. They were saying she was saying Beyonce is a witch. Beyonce killed her cats and things like that. You know, a lot of things like she's not even there yet. She's still just it's just demonic stuff. It's demonic stuff. This is who you guys are supporting. People like that, okay? Beyonce time is coming. Her and her husband, they are coming. These people, don't let the little, oh, Beyonce is like, no, she's a fraud. It's all a persona. It's fake. Behind the scenes, Beyonce is a wicked, wicked person, okay? Beyonce is a fraud. She is not who she says she is. It's all pretend. She's not this miss, you know, you don't see her anywhere. She's, you know, people always having to say nice things about her. It's fake. It's fake. <laughs> and you know what? Her hype is fake. Like, she's more hype than anything. For someone to be as big as Beyonce, you know, she, like, her albums doesn't sell, like, her hype. Okay, like, for an example, look at Taylor Swift. Look at Adele. Their hype matches their album sales. Beyonce is, like, more hype than, like, it's just weird to me. I've always noticed that. For someone to be as big as she is, it doesn't, like, her sales doesn't match her. Like, I don't even think she even did one million copies yet with this album that just came out, that came out one, well, before Taylor Swift's. So it's like, it's not even, I think it's like 400,000 copies or something. So her hype is just hype. It's all hype. That is why... Everything she puts out, if it's not music, is like a big fail. Like her House of Darion, that was trash, right? And it wasn't selling, <laughs> right? And then she came out with Ivy Park, where, pff, please, right? And then now she's like, okay, you know what? Let me get my hands on hair because black people... You know, they're obsessed with hair, and all I have to do is put it out, put my name on it, and voila, boom. You know what I mean? So that's what it is, because her clothing's never, like, always fail. Like, it doesn't work. But this hair thing, I mean, come on, you Beyonce. Why the hell are you doing little things like a hair care line, you know? Leave it to, like, you know, like the Gabrielle Union, the Tracy Ross, the... The Taraji P. Hansen, Kenya Moore. You know, you're supposed to be Beyonce and you're doing a little hair care line, <laughs> you know, like everyone else for what? Money grab, of course, but it's like, really? Anybody could put a hair care line and say, oh, yeah, this is what I do. This is what I use. BS, come on, like a hair care line. I don't know. It's like, I know there's like these celebs, they're like, I don't know if things are like tight for them now or something because they're just like, they're just coming up very desperate. They're trying their hands in everything, YouTube, podcasts. It's just strange. Like, leave these things to the regular people. You guys were supposed to, you guys wanted to divide yourself uh, years ago. 
But now you guys want to come into our world, our field. <laughs> you know what I mean? The regular people. Yeah, because it, it, it's crazy. Everybody has a podcast. Everyone. It's like everyone is just like, come on. I don't understand it. It's just so weird. How before they were supposed, they wanted a division, right? They wanted like the the line was like, there was a clear line between us and them. Now it's like the lines are blurred. They want to, because they know we, because see, this, this platform is really something powerful. Because people don't watch the news. Because the news is fake, you know. Even the, you know, they're fake and they, you know. But now the people, people are getting their news from people like us. Well, we're not being paid, you know. <laughs> well, some people are being paid to lie and to support and, you know, spread, you know, things. But majority of us, it's like we expose these people, you know. We don't watch the news or these high platforms that pushing something, an agenda, you know. So that's why they want to, that's why they want to join in so they can control some of the things, but that's not going to work. So I don't know, maybe they, they tight with the money. Maybe the money is just not, I don't know, maybe they're not really as rich as they say because the things that they are doing is just so desperate. It's weird. It's weird how desperate these people are, these celebrities are. <laughs> like, what is going on? My God, they are hard up for money. Beyonce can say, hey, this is what I use to grow my hair, all that BS. And you could try it and it doesn't work for you because hair is genetics, okay? Hair is genetics, okay? So someone can have long hair and you can do the same thing that they do and nothing is going to work. It's because it's genetics, basically, Okay, now you can have healthy hair if you drink a lot of water, eat right, exercise, moisture your hair, moisturize your hair, you know, take care of it, trim it. That's it. You don't need no $55 conditioner for what? That's a lot of great conditioner out there. We didn't need no damn Beyonce hair care line. Like, what is so different about, we all know about, uh, um, what do you call it, rice water. I mean, Camille Rose have that. There's a lot of brands that have that already. But <laughs> it's just so weird. Like, who the hell asked for a Beyonce hair care line? Nobody. It's a money grab. But it's like, she's not known for her hair. She's known for her wigs. She's not known for her fashion. She doesn't have a style. Like, you don't look at Beyonce and they be like, oh, I want to get that. Oh, oh, this is so fashionable. No, she's just known for being a performer. Like, she's good at performing. Okay, that's what they say. When they go to her concert, she gives a good show. That's all she's known for. She's not known for her, for her style. She's not known for her hair. She's not known for her personality because she doesn't have none. It would have made more sense to have Solange with the natural hair care line and Beyonce with the wigs, hair bundles, you know. <laughs> but but nothing she does is genuine. Her personality isn't genuine. Her marketing has never been genuine. And her vibe isn't genuine. So, so definitely something is going on in that video, okay? Something just is going on, okay? It's not all her hair, whether it's a wig, whether it's pieces. Well, someone said, someone said Beyonce had a hair transplant. Uh, so read this. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know about hair transplant. I don't know anything, but they know a lot about it. So it could be that too. I don't know. But she definitely has some kind of lace. I mean, listen, they have these HD lace frontals okay these things are like invisible when applied to your scalp so it's like it ensures that the wig can have an exposed hairline which looks very natural it renders the lace along the hairline highly undetectable so yeah so they have these things if they have these things for the regular people you don't think they can make better things for someone who's rich who's in her class Come on, you know, but I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't even listen. I wouldn't buy anything from someone whose belly 
folded on TV, okay? Come on, this fraud. But listen, they're trying to, you know, get us sick through food, the water we drink, the air that we breathe. You know, you don't want to be adding other things like, you know, things like that. I don't know. I wouldn't trust it. I would not. I would never buy anything from Beyonce. No way. I made a mistake when buying, when Rihanna had her makeup line and it came out. It was a promotion and I was like, oh, okay, let me see, let me try. And I purchased some things and I was like, damn it, afterward, I'm like, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? You know, like I'm not supporting these people who anti God. No, 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 no. You know, so Satan have his people too, you know, they're working overtime. Yeah, so that's all. That's all I have to say. So, will you guys be buying this hair, Kiana? Did she sold you guys on this new video of her real hair? <laughs> I mean, it's funny because first when she came out, the hairline, the hair care line was for black women, I believe. And then you go to the website, they had everyone. Then she said it's for everyone. It's just a mess. I don't know. Anyways, will you buy this? Were you sold on this new video? <laughs> My goodness. So, yeah, just let me know in the message below, in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, please share. And, yeah, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.